Okay guys, tenders, char cloth. If you're gonna be doing flint and steel, sometimes even with a ferrocerium rod, sometimes with a burning lens, char cloth is a very good catch that becomes a coal. Now if you're gonna be doing flint and steel, you really wanna use char cloth. And all char cloth is, is a cloth of some type that's 100% cotton, the thicker the better to a point and it should be charred completely in a fire in an environment where there's no oxygen charred wood also wor works works excuse me charred punk wood etc but for this demonstration we're going to talk about charred cloth now what i've got here is just simply a tin like you get uh, pellets in and I have filled it up with 100% cotton, Levi blue jean denim, an old pair of pants that give up the ghost. And I've cut them into, as you notice, about a one and a half inch square. They're thick, and that's what's important. Now we're going to put these in here, fairly snug. We're going to seal this up, we're going to throw it in the fire. As it gets hot and it charged, we're going to see smoke coming out. And we're going to attempt, after it's got a good rolling boil, so to speak, we're going to attempt to light that. And it should burn like a candle. Once it does, and it's burning, and that smoke's boiling out, and you can set it on fire and it'll burn like a little torch. When the fire goes out, now that gas coming out, because that is the combustible gases being released, because again, we're burning it in an environment where there's not enough oxygen. Thus, it's making the transition to carbon. I'm going to grab it with a stick, shake it, turn it, keep doing it until no smoke comes out, and then roll it to the side and let it cool completely till I can pick it up by hand. If you open it up, air gets in, whoo, flame. So you want it to cool completely. Then we'll test it for spark in a little bit. So hang with me. We'll be back when we're at that stage. Okay, guys, now the char has been through the tin. We put it in a good hot fire. The smoke that come out was ignited. It goes in there like 25, 30 minutes, something like that. Took it out, shook it a couple of times, put it back. This is what we've got now. Now we have char. Now, that big piece of denim shrunk down to that. Now what we do is we test it. And how we test it is we'll take it with whatever spark method we're going to use and we'll hit it and see if it catches a spark and goes to glowing. If it has, we have successfully made char cloth. Now, your little storage tin like this can be a real handy way to keep it. Because now that it has been burned, you've basically made what we used to be called japanned, which meant take a tin and put it in a fire. I've got it wedged on there now. There we go. And since it only has the one hole here in the top, a piece of tape across that will take care of that problem. And that's a container that I can carry and store my char in. And when I need more char, I can use this container for it. Now, I'll oil this on the outside with regular old gun oil or something. And put a piece of tape over the hole so it keeps it dry and utilize it. Should I not have cloth with me when I've run out of the char cloth, I can take dried punk wood and put it in this tin, put it in the fire and do exactly the same thing. All the char is is simply it's been converted from whatever material it was, organic material like cotton or wood pulp, to carbon. And that carbon will catch and hold the spark. Thus we can ignite it, wrap it around in a bird's nest and it will become a coal and from the coal, we'll blow it into a actual fire. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments in the bottom. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.